I served eight years in the RAF regiment with a few operational tours. I joined in 1990, straight from school. Detachments to Northern Ireland, Cyprus. We were attached to the United Nations out in Croatia and Bosnia for a while. After that, I was posted back to the UK and I was riding my motorbike to work one day and crashed into a tractor. They didn't think I was going to survive initially. Apparently I died in the ambulance on the way to hospital. I was paralysed from the chest down, effectively the end of my military career, and that made me really angry. I had my whole life ahead of me, you know, I barely started out in life, and it changed just like that. The Benevolent Fund, for me, they helped me get my life back on track. I didn't have anywhere to live that was wheelchair accessible. A housing association offered me a house. The RAF Benevolent Fund helped me by giving me a grant to help furnish my house. They expanded the grant to include some IT equipment because I did my resettlement training in IT. Sport was very heavily involved in my rehabilitation. As an RAF regiment gunner, I was very fit and active. Fitness and strength helps in everyday life. It's helped give me a goal mentally and physically. And the RAF Benevolent Fund still are helping me with that by funding my hand cycle. I had no idea when I started cycling that I'd end up competing in the Invictus Games. You know, there were a lot of things I didn't think I would do after my injury, but you never know what life has in store. The RAF Benevolent Fund were there for me then. Now, 20 years later, they're still here for me. I still have goals, things I want to do in life, and with the support of the RAF Benevolent Fund, I'm going to achieve them.